In this video, I'm gonna share with you the easiest way to keep your cover six from breaking against trips tight end. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch the video here. If you're new to the channel, we do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. And I wanted to do kind of a follow-up video to talking a little bit about the cover six and import, most importantly, one of the biggest glitches in the cover six. There's not a whole lot, honestly, with cover six this year, in my opinion, um, as far as like it, it being um, glitched out or dumbed out against some of the best con uh, formations in the game. But in this video, we are going to share with you kind of a really silly uh, glitch and a way to combat it um, specifically uh, out of the trips tight end formation. Now, if you want to learn more about match defense, I've got an entire ebook devoted to teaching you the principles of match coverage this year. If you want to check that out, that's available via my Patreon membership. If you're not a Patreon member, just want to quickly let you know that by becoming a member, you're going to not only get access to the match defense, but you're actually going to get access to all of my Madden 22 strategy guys, all the updates to those ebooks, and as well, we're going to be giving you weekly pro tips and meta updates to kind of keep you on top of what the best of the best are doing, why they're doing it, and what you can do about it. So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked in the description below. And it's only 10 bucks to sign up. And as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk today about cover six against trips tied in. And most importantly, like what the problem is. Um, it is a legit bug, and I did a video on this a couple days ago, but I wanted to kind of do a follow-up and kind of really um, drive home what I think is the easiest way to fix it. So cover six is one of the best coverages in Madden this year uh, for a variety of different reasons. It just does a good job specifically against bunch. It does a great job against compression sets. It does a really good job against U trips and two by two sets. The one formation that seems to give this cover six some trouble ironically is really only one major route combination and particularly out of the trips tied in. And the play is the PA slot corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put PA counter go in my audibles just so I can access it. But I wanna first show you here why PA slot corner is so good. So basically what you're going to see with this is if I just simply press my coverage, you're gonna notice that because cover six has special check, what that basically means is against trip sets, Stokes is going to guard the number one receiver wherever he goes. Now, what's really important is if the number two receiver runs a vertical route, this defender right here is responsible for taking him man to man. If number one, or if, or if, if number ten there, if he if he runs a flat route, Sullivan is responsible for taking him to the flat. However, if he runs like a little drag, then Sullivan is going to release him and jump to the flat. This guy right here is responsible for the number three receiver if the number three receiver goes vertical. Now, if the number three receiver goes to the flat, King is gonna turn his attention to the number two receiver, okay? So just kind of a key takeaway here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send both of them vertically. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to streak Scotty Miller, we're gonna smoke screen Mike Evans, and we're going to leave Godwin on his corner route. And it doesn't happen, honestly, every single time. Like right there, it actually played it pretty good. And you see that's kind of exactly how it's supposed to play. But if I run this coverage enough times, and, and nickel normal, in my opinion, is the best way to run cover six because this alignment from the safeties are really advantageous um, just in terms of not getting them dumbed out. But I'll show you, if we run this enough times, you'll see that the triangle receiver will be open over the top. So I'll show you one more time here. And again, typically it's based off this corner. Like I said, it doesn't happen every time, but when it happens, it's a touchdown, <laughs> literally a touchdown. So you'll see, there we go. As you can see there, the defenders basically did kind of a rub and really messed up. And as you can see, I get the one play score. So I'm gonna jump into instant replay and kind of break down what is going on uh, in this coverage. So face, if, you, if you look closely at this, remember that this defender, Okay, this defender right here, whoops, if I can get on to him. I don't know why I can't get on to him. But anyways, this, this guy right here, 21, he's guarding this guy man to man, okay? Man to man. So no matter what route he runs, here he runs a smoke screen. This defender is responsible for the number two receiver if he goes on a vertical route. However, if this guy runs to the flat route, then this guy is supposed to take him. And what we see here is kind of a breakdown. At 10 yards, which is right at that kind of critical threshold, you see how he's rounding? 
if you look closely here you're gonna see that your quarter flat is kind of debating and out of nowhere look really really closely you're gonna see him turn his head he's gonna turn his head and basically guard 14. now this defender right here is our three rec hook he's supposed to basically match carry and deliver the number three receiver as he does to this safety and then what we see is this kind of manipulation right here on this little natural rub if you will and you're going to notice that now this defender is actually turning if you look close enough he's actually turning and staying with this guy and for whatever reason this guy is now man covered and this guy completely out leveraged and a simple fade is all it takes so I want to give you two suggestions first today um, for fixing this coverage. The first suggestion is the easiest one that I have found. And all we're going to do is we're going to simply back off our solo receiver. Now, what this will, this will do two things. This will kind of give them the, the look pre-snap that they shouldn't throw that. And then it will also um, kind of help some of the locomotion of the players. So you'll see right here snap the ball and you don't get that swap off now the corner route is open i will say that and we're going to come back to that in just a second but the corner route's not honestly open every single time um because if you have a really good uh match defender there he'll go guard the corner pretty well uh, and as you can see that's a pretty decent play and if you've got like a like a deep out zone ko on your safety that's going to be a knockout so as you can see, literally it's as simple as backing off your corner on the trip side. For whatever reason, we're getting kind of some weird bugs within the coverage. And it has to do, I think, with the press on the smoke screen. And so you'll see here, just by bringing this guy off, you don't get them running into each other. Now you still get bad locomotion on the corner, but you don't get them running into each other as badly. Okay. This will also help you on a route combination that basically looks like this. And the reason why is because now this outside quarter is not going to get beat off of the line of scrimmage. So he's going to be able to kind of drive on this skinny post, as you can see right there, and be able to make a really solid play on the ball. So it's just a simple little pro tip for cover six, at least in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense against trips tied in to just back that guy off. Now I wanted to give you a second solution and this one's not as like lethal, like it's not as effective in my opinion, but it is still good. And what we're gonna do is um, really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy right here and blitz him, okay? And what you're gonna see is just by blitzing this guy, there won't be as bad of locomotion, or actually I guess it is as bad as you can see. Um, there won't be as bad locomotion or just user him, I'm sorry. Don't blitz him, just user him. So. Just, to, just basically, you want to keep him out of their grid. When he goes into their grid, to me, that is what's causing the problem. So we're going to keep this three rec down here. And what you'll see is this plays it. And again, you see how we're getting that nice corner route. But that's, you know, a simple solution as well. So again, just use her the three rec hook. What you can also do is if you blitz this guy, then you can take this um, either defender on the outside here and put them in a bluff blitz and they'll still be a three wreck on the field and like i said this isn't as good as the first solution but you'll see here that the locomotion is a lot better and he's able to hang fairly well so it, a lot of it just has to honestly do with a random it, it really is random the route that godwin is on on that corner route from peace that corner is just kind of a, a weird route it's kind of if you notice, it's kind of wiggly right there, that little locomotion. If I were to smart route that route, get it to go a little deeper, you'll see that this coverage should play significantly better because he's too deep for there to be any changes. Now, he is open because um, of his route running ability, but as you can see, that's another way that we can combat that. Now, one final thing that you can do if you don't know what else to do, just take Amos and man him up onto that receiver. Just make sure that you drop one of your DTs into a three rec. That's just going to help with the underneath coverage. And then now you're still going to get good sheds because you're sending four. Um, technically, you're sending three, but you're sending four um, in, in the game's eyes. And then if you take a look here, you'll see that man coverage plus that quarter really drives on that route well and takes that away. 
Obviously, that receiver is a very big problem in this offense. He's running slants, crossers, posts, um, all that stuff. So just by simply manning him up, when I if I want to man him up, one of the things I do want to mention real quick, if I want to man him up, I like to shift my linebackers to his side because what that's going to mean for me is I'm going to get a jam on the number three receiver that is going to help kind of screw up the timing. See, I get this nice little delay bump. And then if you notice, the quarter drives on this really well. So that's another little pro tip for taking this away. But I will say, um, I love cover six. I think cover six has, uh, I think, at least a top two or three coverage in this game. But you just have to understand that you've got to be careful against trips because this guy in the special check can be really problematic if they if they get their locomotion stuff going on where they're smoke screening out there and kind of putting those two defenders in conflict. But as you can see, just by simply backing him off, it will stop that concept. So I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about match coverage and how to run it effectively at a high level, really encourage you to check out the Patreon membership. It'll be linked in the description below. So if you want to check it out, just head on down to the description. And remember that it includes all of our eBooks all season long, any updates to the eBooks and our weekly update videos with pro tips, meta updates to kind of keep you on top of why the best players in the world do what they do and what you can do about it. Thanks for watching. And if you want to check that out, it'll be linked down below.